Hey eBay friends, it's Suzanne A. Wells. Thanks for coming back for another episode. And today is a quick what to sell. And the item is, or are, Loveys, L-O-V-E-Y-S. Um, basically, these are security blankets with a little animal attached to them, a little stuffed plush animal. Um, and for a little walk down memory lane here we have Linus from the Peanuts cartoon with his blanket that he loves. Um, growing up I had the blue blanket like that um, and I had mine till I think I was like six or seven years old until it finally like disintegrated in the washing machine one night. Um, but I remember like I would take it everywhere with me, you know, in the car, um, to the grocery store with my mom, you know, everywhere. And one night we lost it and I was just in a panic. I, I just remember, I just didn't know what I was going to do. Um, and then finally we found it. I had put it uh, behind the couch in front of an air conditioning vent so it would be all nice and cold for when I went to bed. Um, but the reason I'm telling you that story is that's how parents can get when their child loses their favorite one and there may be nothing in the world to appease the child except for getting another one and that's why these can sell for such high prices because um, <laughs> it's a very valuable instrument for calming your child down and uh, you know it's their security blankets so growing up we just had regular blankies we didn't have what's called a lovey and um, my kids didn't have that they either had a little uh, plush stuffed animal or a blanket and I never even learned this word until I started selling on eBay and some of the moms in a group I was in uh, that was just selling like jamboree stuff they were talking about loveys and I was like I don't even know what that is what are you talking about so I don't know if this is a terminology that is a newer terminology or if it's a regional thing. I don't know because I had never heard of it till I was uh, selling on eBay like in 2005. Um, so that's what they're called and so you may not know about this. So if we go over to eBay and look at active listings and I wanted to show you active because they're in so many different categories. Um, all the way from baby, arts and crafts, toys and hobbies, collectibles, dolls and bears, on and on. I normally, when I have found them, I list them in the uh, baby category under nursery blankets and throws. And if we look at that, um, we see there are 14,593 results for the word lovey. Now, not all of these are technically a lovey because a lovey is a little stuffed animal attached to a blanket. And I'm going to show you some of those in a minute. So some of these you just see are blankets. So my gut feeling is that actual loveys, listings that you're competing against, are much fewer than this 14,000 because people have learned to put that in their title. Um, you know, it's keyword spamming if it's not one, but you know, this is not a trademarked word, it's not a copyrighted word, so I'm guessing that you can just l use it loosely on whatever you want uh, that would be like a security blanket for a, a baby or a little child. So if we go back to um, look at completed listings, uh, sold listings, and I'm going to leave it to include new and used because you may find these new um, like as a shower gift that someone gave away you know never been taken out of the package that kind of thing so we're just gonna leave all of the options new with tags new without all of that pre-owned you can see that there's 11,865 pre-owned in the active listings but um, you may find them brand new so I'm gonna just leave that in the sort and then we go to um, the sold listings and there are 4,597 sold listings with the word lovey in the title but remember not all of them are technically what I'm talking about here with the little stuffed animal attached to the blanket so 
some of these can sell for ridiculous prices. There was a Fisher Price one many years ago that would sell for over two hundred dollars, and it was. Uh, we may see that here in the completed listings, but um, like here's one. The brand is called Jelly Cat. That is a popular thing right now. Um, Bashful Dino Security Blanket Green Dinosaur Soother Comforter Lovey. So they've got everything covered in there. And it sold for $149, this little blanket, this little toy. And these are going to be, well, I found them in several different places in thrift stores. So they may be mixed in with the stuffed animals, the plush. They may be mixed in with the linens or they may be mixed in with baby stuff just like on the shelves with the baby stuff so keep your eye out for those wherever you go just they're not going to be in any one specific place because it's kind of a hybrid item is it a blanket is it a stuffed animal is it a baby thing it's all of those so it could be anywhere um, so here's another one that is a rare pottery barn kids sheep lamb knotted corner security blanket lovey plush and this is just a little like a little lamby um, I mean very plain looking if you didn't know what to look for this you might just leave it on the shelf and that's why I make these little quick what to sell videos because if you're out there in the thrift stores looking around and you want to maximize your time and you want to find those items that are going to be high profit items you've got to know what's going on in all these different categories because you can just kind of hit the high spots of each section um, you don't have to just just do clothes or just do toys or just do home decor um, know a little bit about everything and then you can learn um, to identify your your top high profit items and you know maybe I should put together a ebook or if it was a video it'd be you know really long but like top 100 items that I would pick because I look for things that are easy to identify low price high profit and yeah sure most of us are never gonna find this particular lovey right here but if you're not looking for these at all right now um, this could be a very helpful tip because you, I guarantee somebody is going to come back and comment on this video later or um, in my Facebook group and say um, I watched your video on loveys a few days later I was in a thrift store and I found this one that sold for you know fifty a hundred dollars whatever so um, you know it's just all about learning as much as you can to you know increase your knowledge base so that you can make more money with the same amount of effort you know I'm not about like make money while you're doing nothing because um, that's just not the way I'm wired I like to do things <laughs> I don't want to sit here and do nothing um, but like this one here is kind of like the Fisher Price one I was talking about vintage Fisher Price 1979 plaid security blanket bunny lovey taggy now, I am not sure what that taggy is all about maybe unless that's his name or something um, but if we go look at the pictures here if you're listening on a podcast this is a uh, a lovey with a bunny rabbit sort of head and the blanket part is um, a yellow plaid and then it's got little bunny hands showing up underneath the hem of the blanket so if you can't see this because you're listening um, this has a plaid blanket on it with a bunny head and it's Fisher Price and let's see if um, it says on the tag it says assembled in Mexico it's got the the year on it on the tag so if you're lucky enough to find one of these vintage ones with the tag on it it should say the year and then it has the older Fisher Price logo with the uh, big red and blue circle with the F and P inside of it so um, this it was one like this but it was multicolored the blanket was like pink and blue and yellow but this is the one that can sell for so much money so it's vintage and you may very well come across this at an estate sale at a garage sale um, you don't know um, you know it's just all about learning as much as you can so that when you see these things you know you know right off the bat oh here's that here's that lovey with the bunny head and the plaid blanket on it 
that's supposed to be valuable. Let me look that up and see what's going on with that. So here's another one that is with the blue plaid blanket. Vintage 1979 Fisher Price Security Bunny Rabbit Blanket Lovey Plaid. And it's just the same as I described with the yellow blanket. It's got a bunny head with big rosy uh, cheeks, big pink cheeks, and a plaid, um, fuzzy plaid uh, blanket. It's blue and white. It's a very, uh, it's a big plaid. It's not small like um, like a checked pattern. It's, it's a big plaid. And here she's showing the tag. So it's got the year on it as well. So you know when you're digging through the plush are you looking for this plaid blanket that's gonna pop out at you and say you know buy me and sell me so that blue one sold for ninety two fifty six here's the yellow one again it sold for eighty nine ninety nine and then we've got one called a koala baby monster alien security blanket lovey this is a baby's R Us product so let's take a look at that it's got a uh, funky looking monster head with three pointy buck teeth. The blanket part is green with uh, trimmed in blue. And let's see if we can get to another picture here. Did they only have one picture? Yep, they only had one picture. So we can't see a close up of the tag. It's not down in the description. Um, so it doesn't say a year it was made. So I'm not sure why this one is so collectible, but again, it, it may not be that it's collectible. It may be a two-year-old um, threw it out the window driving down the road or lost it at the grocery store or the dog ate it or whatever, and that two-year-old is uh, going nuts not having their favorite lovey, and somebody just had this up on eBay and you know had it priced high and this is what it sold for so you never know um, you know there used to be a lot of talk about um, how it was not ethical to sell these things at such high prices because um, yeah the mom's buying it for the the child that lost it or needs another one or whatever but you know this is not a life-saving device um, you're not selling a kidney here this is a blanket and again this is the way capitalism works if you've got something the only way to determine the price of something what something is worth is what someone will pay so it may be totally worth it to that mom to be like yes I'm gonna spend 90 bucks on this thing so that my kid will um, stop being such a monster and <laughs> you know return to normal and have his blankie back but um, you know another mom may be like no way we're just gonna get a different one and he's gonna have to, to deal with that and and learn that you know nothing lasts forever and uh, find another one so that's and that's the way it works with a lot of things on eBay um, hair color I will never understand it gets discontinued all the time um, I used to seek out these discontinued items so that I could sell them at such inflated prices and I'll tell you that's that's the one thing that is discontinued just constantly by these uh, you know Clairol and L'Oreal and all those that make the hair color they will discontinue a shade and for women that have used that for years they will pay 40 50 60 dollars a box for that stuff because they want that color but you know eventually it's gonna run out eventually you're gonna have to do something different so you know I'm of the mindset well when something's not available anymore it's time for me to make a change and find something that's in my price range because you know me personally would not I would not pay 50 bucks a box for hair color that's only gonna last in your hair for about a month eventually if it's not being made anymore you're going to have to change so I got way off the topic here but <laughs> um, as far as you know is it ethical to charge this much for a little baby security blanket that's totally your call um, you went out you found it at a thrift store you washed it you took pictures and put it up on eBay and um, you can charge whatever you want you know it's just like when you put your house on the market you can um, you can put a million dollars on it if you want doesn't mean you're gonna get it 
that's why you should always use best offer because if it's overpriced then you'll get offers maybe around the same price range and realize okay yeah this is overpriced nobody's gonna pay this so I'm gonna entertain some of these lower offers but um, you know I'm of the mindset um, I have a business degree with uh, you know a minor in marketing and I'm of the mindset that um, it's ethical to put any kind of price on a consumer good that is not a life-saving device um, any price you want and see what the market will bear because this is all voluntary nobody's holding a gun to your head and saying go on eBay and buy this bunny for 90 bucks you know it's a choice that's the great thing about America we have choices so my opinion price it high put best offer see what happens and even if you do sell it for an insanely high price it may be a drop in the bucket to that person to that mom who is getting this for this child to um, you know calm him down and so he can be happy because you know maybe it's all about happy happiness in that household and that you know kid is coming unglued because he doesn't have his special lovey um, so here's some more here's one that is called oh joy target hedgehog security blanket baby lovey green blah 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 this one sold for seventy nine dollars and um, these are not um, auctions these are our fixed prices um, they may have sold on best offer I can't tell from looking at the listings this way but this is a green and white blanket with a little hedgehog head in the middle and the back is like a crosshatch pattern and it is from Target so <laughs> what's funny is is this thing probably cost less than 20 bucks new and maybe they don't make it anymore and somebody found it at a thrift store realized it was rare put it on eBay put a high price on it and they got it so welcome oh and their store look at this um, I don't know who this person is but with great respect I am saying that their store is called lost and found toys so this person has figured it out um, I, I really don't like calling out people's store names on these videos um, unless it's on the money making Mondays because um, I don't have their permission to talk about them but I am commending this person that they have figured it out this is a very smart niche to be in lost and found toys um, I'm just curious how long they've been doing this they have been doing it since um, selling or member on eBay since 2001 and I'm just curious to see what their store is they've got 577 items in their store of which 307 are toys uh, plush type items so you know I commend this person for uh, figuring this out and, and carving out a niche for themselves of lost and found toys that's really smart if you're watching this or know this person um, you know compliment them because this was a smart thing to do okay and let's see a few more here's that Fisher Price bunny with the yellow blanket again sold for $79.99 and then we've got with the blue blanket uh, the Fisher Price bunny $69.90 and then we've got something called um, Cloud Island I'm not familiar with this brand there's so many brands out there you can't learn them all but like Pottery Barn Kids is a good one um, Eden, E-D-E-N is a good one, Dakin, D-A-K-I-N, and it's just a matter of, um, you know, looking it up, seeing what it's worth. If, you know, eBay's flooded with them, then obviously, you know, you're not going to make a great profit because you're going to have too much competition. So that's the key is if there's not many of them on eBay. Um, Gerber makes a bunch of them. So this is a cute little um, pink deer with some little deer antlers uh, attached to a pink blanket and I don't think there's a picture of the tag this may be Target I'm not a hundred percent sure um, I'm just guessing because I've seen that somewhere before and then we've got a Vera Bradley lovey it sold for $72.95 um, here's a very interesting one it's a pom-pom blanket with oh, this is from um, eBay UK Great Britain 
It's a very interesting pom-pom blanket with a little uh, lovey attached to it. Looks like a little, maybe that's a mouse. I'm not sure. It looks handmade. I wonder if it is. Let's see. Yep, handmade pom-pom pram. That's what they call a stroller in Great Britain. A, a pram, or I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. P-R-A-M is a stroller. Um, so that's very cute. So this person did well on that and they made it. We've got Carter's. That's another brand to look for. This is a navy blue hippo lovey. It went for 69. We've got this Oh Joy brand again with the hedgehog. Another one that went for 69. So I think you get the point on what these are and how much they can sell for and why. And your own, um, you know, you can set your own ethical standards <laughs> as far as what you will charge. Um, but hey, it's eBay. Nobody's forcing anybody to buy anything. And you are doing a huge service to these parents when you're helping them replace this lost or damaged uh, security blanket item because, um, you know, I've seen it when kids lose these things and, and they just, they come absolutely unglued. And those parents will do whatever it takes, um, even medicating them, <laughs> which is not funny, but... Um, you know, put a little Benadryl in their juice and calm them down kind of thing. Um, and you don't have to comment on, you know, that's child abuse. I'm teasing. I'm kidding. Um, anyway, you're doing a huge service to these parents when you help them replace something like this that's so important to their child. Um, I've actually sold this one before. This is on my Pinterest board. It's a Gerber uh, bear with a blanket attached and it has the tag on it. I think mine sold for about 30. This one went for $49.49. So yeah, you can make some huge money with these lovies. Uh, just be on the lookout for those. Again, look in the plush with the stuffed animals, the linens, sometimes they're mixed in there, and the baby stuff. Um, and I'm going to get more into helping you guys learn baby items to sell because that's um, that's a niche where you can make some good money if you know what these things are. So uh, just subscribe so that you don't miss any of these videos. Remember that I am on both uh, iTunes and Stitcher. So if you would rather listen or you have more time to listen, um, you can find me there and would love your comments below. If you knew what this was, if you're familiar with this word and any of your funny, lovey stories. So thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day on eBay. Bye.